You're watching Influencers. I'm Abha. And I'm Devna. We bring you fresh insights from impactful people with impactful content. Enjoy. You know, as I was telling you earlier, I was Googling your name and trying to do a little research on the philanthropy you're doing. And I have to say that the first thing that came up about you, not about your hair or makeup or clothes or shoes, uh, but Natasha Poonawala, the philanthropist. I'm so, so happy to hear clearly that. Clearly you're doing good work and you're, you're, you're setting goals for yourself. Could you, you talk to us about that? Basically, I'm, I'm really happy that you said that and that uh, our, our name is being associated with philanthropy because it's uh, one of the things about my father-in-law and my mother-in-law that I think uh, I always felt was a little bit overshadowed by the lifestyle and you know the fact that he was such a prominent um, person at the race course that you know it all the good work that he's done for 50 years now with serum and healthcare and saving that many children's lives was something that didn't come to the forefront. Now the only difference with uh, with it is that when you speak about charity and when we spoke about charity um, many years ago, it was always something that wasn't spoken about. You know, like uh, charity whispers, you don't sort of brag about it, you don't talk about it. The difference is that now with social media and people being out there so much, I think that it's very important to speak about something that could influence others' lives positively and um, share how you do things. If you're doing a cleaning campaign, we have no problem with sharing our technology, we have no problem with sharing how we do it, what our structure is. And if other people can take this on, whether it comes to the schools, it comes to the hospital, anything, if one other person follows what we are talking about, then it's then I think that our mission is accomplished. So what are the causes that are close to your heart? It's health, it's education and sanitation are the three things that I would say are the priorities for us. We feel that our lifestyle and we're very grateful for it but uh, we feel our lifestyle is you know uh, way beyond uh, the normal Indian lifestyle and everything else and so we feel that if we do have it or you know if we are privileged we have to give back to society. It's something that, that has come through my father-in-law for years. I mean, he could have sold his vaccines at um, 120 rupees. He still sold it at seven rupees a vaccine. I mean, there was no need to do that because uh, the other players in the market were just so much higher. So when you come from a family like that, and my mother-in-law who had several religious groups and several people that she took care of, um, I feel that when you come from that, um, you always want to give back and so it's something that has really been and it's very very fulfilling for me and other to be honest so you've got a few umbrellas right you've yes. got that swatch campaign yes. which is the clean up campaign that's the clean up campaign that's the uh, yeah the clean city initiative right that's you have the schools mm -hmm. um, you have the focus on health and um, we have one hospital we haven't actually gone too deep into the hospitals we have one hospital uh, we have about five to six schools uh, one of which was started by uh, my uh, my father-in-law's father and um, I've been personally involved in starting up Uli Kanchan and I was really happy with that school because it uh, went from 25 kids to 825 kids and it was very satisfying to see how we needed to very quickly put up more facilities to you know have the kids uh, educated plus simple things like giving them a karate coach you know, they really took it to the next step and there were many black belts out of there. In uh, rural India, they would be talking about things like Swachh Bharat. They're talking about gender discrimination issues where they're actually talking to the parents from the stage where they're saying, why do I have to come home and still cook and clean and, and do all of this when I spend the equal number of days at uh, or the equal number of hours at school as my brother? Because they don't have as much as uh, urban kids. Um, so they really take it to, uh, to the next step. So, so that's you, very gratifying. So you've honest. talked about Melinda Gates uh, yes. being a sort of idol in this space, right? And you meet well, Bill them. Gates for us, Bill Gates and Melinda Gates, absolutely, and their foundation and what they have done um, is a huge. Uh, I mean, it's not only an influence, but it's. Uh, it's so impactful to the rest of the world. Serum has been working with them for many, many years now. So, so in the healthcare and vaccination, in the part healthcare and vaccination it. part of it, because he he runs very big vaccine campaigns. But we're just one of the many vaccine manufacturers that he deals with as well. The 
mother and the wife and um, a spokesperson and you know in the whole Bollywood scene you're also becoming brand philanthropy don't think of myself as a very big brand but um, by the end of the day I mean I'm glad I'm able to in whatever little way influence to be honest you spend a lot of money on luxury whether it's grooming or or buying you know certain clothes or shoes or handbags or luxury travel so you know you you kind of are a big consumer of luxury and then this whole dichotomy of uh, uh, philanthropy as well you know it seems a little odd to an outsider I have to say that that's very true uh, but I don't deny it because you have a glamorous lifestyle that you can't think about others I think that is one of the things that is interesting because I think it's very important to break the mold of the way people think that you have to be in khadi and you have to not dress up and you have to not spend to be giving back to society. Why? Why if I do have the option today to do both, why should I not do it? So I'm completely unapologetic <laughs> oh, one way or another. I love to give to people. I love to see that um, that I'm making a difference to a society that I live in and I do love the lifestyle as well so I don't see. <laughs> I do also come from Pune which uh, is a very simple town and everybody has their head screwed on in the right place because um, it actually while I was growing up was a negative to be in you know, uh, in a billionaire's club or it was a negative uh, connotation to uh, leading a flashy lifestyle or you know doing all of that but today you've learned to say okay I do this but I for me to be happy on the inside I need to do that as well yeah. so it's about my personal happiness philanthropy is a luxury and it's something that we're very very lucky to be able to do otherwise I mean otherwise life is all about yourself and about your day-to-day -day struggles and as I said you don't appreciate things as much unless you do give back to people who really need it Thank you so much. Not at all. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you liked this interview, please follow us on Facebook and Instagram. It's on the bottom of your screen. And don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. Bye.